What up, it's your boy Nick Incredible, and this is my discussion slash review for 911 Season 7, Episode 1, titled Abandoned Ships, and we back, baby. Let's talk about it. First off, right off rip, we are back and I am in love yet again, man. I love 911. It is good to have the OG back. Was a little worried there because, you know, the whole cancellation scare, but good thing ABC picked it up and I am here for it. Now, I knew with ABC picking it up, there was going to be some subtle changes and everything, but overall, I'm just happy that it's back because I love 911. But the changes so far is. We know that Buck is no longer dating the um the death doula chick. Bobby and Athena seems to have like a rocky relationship all of a sudden out of nowhere because go prior to season six they were a little rocky, but like and then they kind of patched it up and that's why they decided to go on the cruise. But you know it's neither here nor there. We don't know what's going on with him, but Chim and Maddie seem to be fine. But Chim was a little bit worried, a little bit going into it, and Eddie, you know he's he's pretty solid right now. That's where we're at, and I knew some changes was going to come with us being on ABC now compared to Fox. Um, I'm not mad at it because we still had the 911 feel to it in that first episode back. It's that, you know, the whole disaster thing. We saw glimpses and trailers and everything, so we know the ship is going to be in the storm. So it hasn't happened yet, but it's going to be there, and, you know, now there's uh, pirates on the ship as well. So, like, there's a lot of stuff going on into this opening, and that's what we need from 911. It's always that big, dramatic opening, and I love that, um, I want to say maybe five or six, the opening was like, it was it was one and done, you know, like it kind of wrapped up in that very first episode, but I love the fact that, you know, them trying to, you know, expand it a little bit more on season seven because we're on a new network and it's actually been picked up. So we're not having to worry about cancellation or anything like that. We're good to go. So it's going to kind of play over maybe a couple episodes. It probably would wrap up in episode two, but if not, it will fall over to episode three. And I'm totally fine with that, man, because we see that Bobby and Athena kind of have, Something going on. Athena doesn't feel like her and Bobby are in a good place in their relationship. You know, she doesn't really want to be alone with Bobby. And in comes these two weird random people that we've met before. And um, Lola, the lady that was on the bridge in the nude. You know what I'm saying? So I love when 911 does a good callback to a character we've seen before. But now it's in a different predicament. And it's good to have that because we know that Athena and Bobby work well in chaos. Even Athena mentioned it this episode. So I love that we get to see them solving yet again another case. But I don't like that their relationship is on the rocks. It's just my opinion. I mean, I feel good to have them back, but I just don't like that their relationship is on the rocks. And, you know, we see them on the cruise. And as the episode goes off, we see, you know, they're still kind of button heads throughout the entire episode. But as the episode ends, we see that the whole concept of, you know, the two people that we met before and, and their bunk buddy, so to speak, uh, the dude has, well, they think that the dude has like a chip with a bunch of Bitcoin on it, but that's not really the guy, but he's been around enough. And we can all tell that the, um, the guy that's running the cruise ship, you know, the guy with the slick back hair. And if you know, you know, he, he played um, Eddie Thorne on um, The Flash. But he seems like he's he's a part of the, the crew, right? Like, he kind of pointed them out to those people. I feel like he he's a part of the setup. You could just, something's a little off about him. You could tell the way that the wife was looking at him. But, you know, I digress. That's not the only good thing we have. We see that Hen is taking over as Captain while Bobby's away on his cruise, which is lovely, man. I mean, you know, we had Chim, you know, eh, Chim's not the best captain to be doing things. So he and taking over is a good spot. And we know her whole debacle with possibly leaving the firehouse and stuff. It's good that she's kind of put that away from her now. And now she's focused solely back on being a firefighter. And I love that, that she's the captain and everything. Now, we had a couple cases this episode as well. The cases were very short and brief, and sometimes they, they kind of extend a little bit, and sometimes they're just kind of wrapped up nicely. And I'm okay with that because we wanted to know more about what was going on with the cruise ship anyway. Now, uh, the first case is with the fire, fire pilot where he 
kind of ejected and his plane kind of crashed into the couple's house also sent Chim into like this weird spiral and you know well maybe me and Maddie's relationship has kind of calcified a little bit I don't I don't know but I do know that I feel like the uniforms kind of changed just a smidge I can't really put my nose or my finger on it for the uh firefighters but I know they change for the 911 call center like the logo and everything looks a little bit smaller and neater I mean I Finite details, you know what I'm saying? I noticed certain things, and I feel like the the the, the logo on it is just a little bit different. But um, long story short, we see Chim kind of going through these things, you know, trying to refresh their relationship a little bit. In the end, he realizes that's not the way to go. In the end, he realizes that's not the way to go because of both of the cases kind of related to Chim's uh, personal relationship with Maddie, so to speak. And it's good to see Maddie. I, I love Jennifer Love Hewitt. Um... But we see that both of those cases kind of related to Chim a little bit. The one with the guy, <laughs> the guy that took, <laughs> give me a minute. Whew. The one with the guy that took the pill, you know what I'm saying? And then him and his girlfriend, you know, they, let's get it on. All right. And then she got stuck up there. <laughs> That was funny. Like, it wasn't funny in the moment, but just having it, just picturing it actually happening. It was like, oh, man, this sucks. This, this is embarrassing. This this is a little bit embarrassing. <laughs> but that also kind of gave Chim some realization in his own relationship. Now, Buck, yet again, is single. And to be fair, we knew the death doula relationship wasn't going to last. I mean, we who were they fooling with that? We knew that wasn't going nowhere. But... To see Buck single again, I don't know, man. We have to see how it plays out through the course of the season. But I don't like single Buck because when Buck is single, he he gets a little weird. But we'll have to see how it plays out uh, because maybe Eddie can introduce Buck to somebody. I don't know. I, I kind of like Buck when he's single, like how he kind of involves himself and everything. But when he is single, it kind of messes with Buck a little bit. I feel like Buck, need, for him, he needs to be in a relationship because he's so used to being committed and getting dumped by these women so like i don't know how he feels maybe 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 he does need to be single maybe buck need to learn how to love buck a little bit more and then he can find a, a good relationship but to be fair he did kind of ruin things with taylor that was all on his own you know it is what it is with that we also have a wonderful moment we've saw christopher grow up on this show man and it's nice to see christopher as an older kid and kind of dating now so like we see him you know playing these two girls you know one girl she's gonna drag the other girl you know so christopher you might want to get it right and eddie wanting wanting buck to talk to him about you know being a player and, and you know telling every girl that she's special when you don't really mean it you know what i'm saying and christopher was like well they are all special <laughs> but then it kind of took a darker turn when you realize why he feels that way it's because of his mom yet again you know we we know that she died and that kind of hurt him a little bit we we saw and dealt with that in the prior seasons but this time around it's because he realized that you know even before she died she left them and and that's why he kind of feel like he doesn't really have to mean anything he says when it comes to relationship or or dating or anything like that and that's the wrong mentality to have but i love that eddie kind of gave him a note that his mom wrote a long time ago and gave it to him and that kind of made him realize a little bit they even showed you the glimpses of like when he's reading the letter you know like she was sitting there and he's kind of hearing her voice and i feel like that was good for christopher because he already felt like he was losing her voice in his mind you know what i'm saying so it was a nice payoff for that aspect um and that's pretty much everything that happened in his first episode but i mean like we all came for the, the the big catastrophe that happens with 911, whether it's Lone Star or the OG original. You know, we come for the catastrophe, but it's building up to that. And I feel like it's definitely going to happen, especially when, you know, we see Athena talking to a therapist and trying to realize, oh, I'm just so terrified of boats, man. I saw this movie that one time and it messed me up. <laughs> and the sad thing is, like for that to actually happen for you to have a fear of getting on a cruise ship and having a storm or something take place. And then the, the whole boat itself flips, you know, and then that for that to actually take place. Yeah. That's going to mess with her for a minute. You know, like no more boats for me. Okay. <laughs> but overall, man, like I'm super hyped. I'm happy that it's back. I am excited to see what ABC is going to do with the series, how they're going to change some things. And like I said, I know very minuscule things right now, you know, the relationships and, um, 
the design for the 911 call center, it looks a little different to me. I don't remember it being quite as small and neat looking when I'd have to go back. It's been a while, but those are the two things that stood out to me. The whole relationship aspect with Buck, um, Athena and Bobby and Chim and Maddie right now. And then um, the the logo and the design for the 911 operators. But that's the only thing that I noticed thus far. If you saw anything, comment down below and let me know. This is really incredible. Don't forget to smash the like button until you can't smash it anymore. Comment down below and I'll be sure to respond to each and every one of them and subscribe. Peace out. Cause I've been working a lot. I think I deserve a shot. I think I deserve a spot. Cause it's been years on this path that I walk. And if I keep going, I pray I'll be at the top.